New York Fashion Week is one of the most anticipated events in the fashion world, showcasing the latest trends and boldest looks from top designers across the globe. And this year's collections were no exception. I'm excited to have fashion designer and stylist Daniette Thomas here with me. She's going to break down the standout trends and show us how we can incorporate them into our own, our own wardrobes. Now, these trends that we see at New York Fashion Week kind of set the tone for the next year or so. Correct. So tell me, what, what was your initial reaction going through seeing, you know, all the looks we saw this year? Um, I think um, where we are today, post pandemic, a couple of years, um, it's good to see things um, on New York Fashion Week and like with the runway and the different productions from different designers um, that are still being sustained from before. Mm -hmm. um, we're in a very tricky time period where the economy is doing some tricky things. We're in the midst of getting ready for an election. So I'm seeing fashion that is is um, expected you know yeah. we don't look like we've been through what we've been through if that makes sense from the fashion industry standpoint so I'm very excited to see that and some of the trends that came about on the runways and I'm excited to help everybody implement some of these things in their wardrobes but we, but we are looking at spring 2025 trends because we're six months ahead in the fashion industry okay that's good to know i didn't yes. know exactly what time period we yes. were looking, what season we're aiming at yes so we know it's spring it's spring. one thing that we saw throughout this uh week that just wrapped up about a couple of days ago mm -hmm. too um is is the tears yes you know, we talked about that asymmetrical trend yes. going on tell me a little bit about that so we'll especially in pictures. skirts and then you'll even see some in pants if you look around and do some research but especially in skirts we're seeing the tears the ruffles mm -hmm. the layers mm -hmm. multiple um, occasions of this throughout from the waist all the way down to the ground. We see it in asymmetrical form. We see it in symmetrical form and we're playing with it with different florals and we're playing with it with pastel colors. So that is a trend that's played with quite frequently on the runway for the spring and I like it. It's actually been around for a few years and I like that it's coming back. We even play with it in um, opacity. We play with it in lace. So yeah, I enjoy that trend. It um, plays a little, plays around a little bit, gives that fun, flirty look. I feel like it's very easy for multiple body types to pull it off. A part of me feels like this gives like early 2000s a little bit. Like a little bit, a little bit. People, you know, prancing around New York yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Is this like, do you think that this will go for all colors or are we sticking yes, with a certain color tone? Definitely, tones? there's okay. no color restriction when it comes to this silhouette and this garment type of construction, there's there's no limit, really, there's no limit. People are doing all kinds of things, and we even see it on men and women. So mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. So we also saw textures, playing yes. with different textures. Lots of textures. What can we expect with that coming up? When it comes to the textures, I um, am really excited about some of the things that I saw. Spring boucle is very, very common in the mm -hmm. spring. It's not going anywhere. It gives very Coco Chanel, and it's very year round, but we see it played with more of a pastel color. Um, we also see um, it played with uh, different black and whites. Um, we see texture when it applies to knits and athleisure. Um, we're seeing it played with like spring bright ombres. You know, spring and summer are notorious for playing with colors that we don't normally see in other times of the year. Mm -hmm. We see opacity with our textures. We see fringe being used with non-traditional fabrics, okay. sustainable fabrics. And I'm also excited to see some textures played with and there's some inclusivity on the runway a little bit this year as well. I don't know if you noticed that, but there's some different body types yes. and different heights that we don't normally see on the runway. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah, I, I love that part. I think what I love the most about this is that like preppy girl style mm -hmm. that we're seeing. Mm -hmm. um, it it kind of plays into the soft girl era mm -hmm. that we yes. see trending all over social media, like yes. that outfit that just passed. Yes. I, I love something like that. Yes, it's very yes, cute. yes, absolutely. I'm excited about it. It's very nice. And I love how the texture plays over into the accessories as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that purse. That's it's very yeah. cute. Mm -hmm. So we also have some monochromatic looks we saw. Yes, we do. I, I, I gave Speaking it a try, of monochrome, you know? we've got monochrome <laughs> and we've got monochromatic, but I love what you've got going on today. It looks gorgeous on you, by the way. I complimented Camille as soon as I came into the studio this morning. <laughs> And um, we've, we're seeing that with spring colors, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so we're seeing a lot of lavender. I feel like lavender is making a loop Ooh, back around. It okay. was here this year. Um, we're also seeing um, a play on uh, denim when it comes to the two-piece sets. Um, so you're having that same color denim for the top and the bottom. Um, same thing when it comes to other fabric placements, um, print on prints. The mm -hmm. two-piece sets are really heavy when it comes to silks, silk prints. 
Um, and then that also plays into the texture. People ask me all the time, um, is print on print okay? And I think that just, you know, comes down to the science of understanding how complicated prints can be when you put them with something else and what colors you can play with and doing your color analysis. But yeah, we definitely see those on the runway and it looks really nice. I'm enjoying it. I feel like all of these trends are easy to implement in your personal wardrobe. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with that. It, how hard do you think it will be, or hard or easy, to actually go and shop and find these these looks? I don't think it'll be very hard. These are very, very simple to find, especially if you want to look at a local Target. Um, mm -hmm. I personally like to shop a lot when I go out of town, especially for some of my clients, um, because there's just more options in a lot of larger cities and some stores that we don't have here locally. But then also shopping online. Um, you can easily find trends like this on Amazon, Zara, and um, shop for things that are easy to find in your size when it comes to looking at the size chart and things of that sort. These trends will be easy to find well into the spring. I love your expertise on this. I feel like I'm always blindly looking at the New York Fashion Week looks that come out, the pictures on social media and everything. And it's nice to have someone who can like dig into it, tell us around what time we mm -hmm. can expect to see these trending. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love that we're seeing some of them also come back around again yeah. this year. So we can use yeah. some of this stuff already in our closet. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Don't throw your whole closet away saying, okay, I gotta get on trend. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Perfect, well thank you so much, Donny Ate, oh, for joining you. us. Absolutely. Looking forward to seeing you more and more on morning break with all your faction Thank you expertise. for having me. It's a blast up here with you guys. Yes, I need it and we all need it. <laughs> so we appreciate you, okay? My pleasure. <laughs> Coming up, Kyle will join us again.